Welcome back to another tutorial on PSO2 this time. Um, I've been playing this game quite a bit lately, and it's one of the reasons why I haven't posted in quite a bit. Um, I've just been busy playing this, uh, and whenever I make guides and such, I kind of want to know how to play the game thoroughly before I even think about coming out with a guide on anything on it. So. I think I've gotten a pretty good grasp about the game and what I can do on it and stuff like that. Um, but before I get started, I'd like to thank anyone and everyone who subscribed to me. Um, it really means a lot to me, and uh, I couldn't uh, make these videos otherwise without you guys you know, there to support me. So I want to thank you guys for doing that. It really makes it means a lot to me. So well, without the <laughs> uh, without further ado, I'll go and I'll create a new character and I'll kind of walk you guys through how exactly to get started on PSO2. A lot of this game is rather confusing. Um, you're not exactly sure what to do when you start up and I kind of want to clear that up and help if I can. Um, this will be like a beginner's guide on how to do that. Get the tutorial. You can watch it if you like, I'm gonna skip it. <laughs> Alright. You get to see Athen. Alright. Over, um, what each of these classes do, because it is. And you might not have actually gotten this far at point yet, so. Hunter, obviously, as you can tell, has a sword, and, um, they are high DPS. So, um, as it says there, this is high health and defense. Um, but they also have a really high DPS with their sword abilities, um, so that's something if you want high damage uh, with a sword, Hunter is definitely a good way to go. Ranger, um, you can stay away from the enemy quite a bit, you can shoot them from afar, you can use a launcher which shoots rockets, it also has high DPS. Force is for magic users. I haven't done a lot with force attack here, but they do support moves. Oh no, that's attacker, my bad. Force is uh, offensive magic. So you basically would do uh, fireballs, um, icicles, stuff like that. Uh, any kind of magic that you see in the game, they could probably do. Uh, Braver is the traditional katana uh, bow combo. So basically, you can get up close or you can stay far away. Um, a lot of people like this class to start off with. It's not a bad starter class. It's a pretty cool looking class. It's got a lot of cool moves in it. So I would recommend trying it out if you haven't. Uh, bouncer, on the other hand, is all close quarters. Uh, the jet boots for the Bouncer, as you can see on the photo there, allow you to kick things a lot. <laughs> And they um, actually can use tech or melee power. Uh, you can actually switch between the two if once you get a skill move for it. Uh, there's also soaring blades, which is my personal favorite, um, that rely solely on melee damage. And that is where I like to see it shine. Now, some people like the boots more, some people like the soaring blades. It's just all up to opinion, really, though. Okay, summoner. Um, well, it's kind of like what it looks like. You control pet. <laughs> and you run around with them and you smack people with it. Uh, you don't actually fight um, all too much yourself when you're using Summoner. You kind of just wave your wand around and do different moves. Uh, and the pet does the moves for you, basically. I'm going to play as... I think I'll do Ranger this time. Uh, do any of them? Uh, I don't know what dude this looks like. Oh, I guess it won't matter because I'm randomizing it. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Alright, we'll go with this guy, because he obviously looks like he knows least. <laughs> what have I created? Oh no. Right, so let me type. What is this? Typing the on Xbox One. Oh yeah, because I'm streaming, that's why. There we go. I'll name him the dude. Boom. Now you just complete my masterpiece. <laughs> I 
Alright, let me get this front page here. That kind of tells you what's going on with the PSO world. Uh, it's like not gonna help you all too much right now because it's future events and crap, but it's a lot of cool things. Uh, so when she gets started, you will have gone through the cutscene and a start day will greet you and force you to do things. <laughs> it's not that bad though. So they'll ask you to uh, then charge the basic instructions, they'll talk to them, and then they'll uh, tell you to go to your start menu. Open up the first thing, uh, kind of be on. And then once you pick that up, you can back out and um, see the first video that pops up. This video basically just like, um, I'm pretty sure it just gives you an overview of some of the things in the game. Uh, a lot of the things you've already seen, like the cutscene and the, uh, the, the font. If you watch the video on the intro, or the once you enter the game, got that on there. Okay, and then from here, you might not exactly sure what to do at this point. Uh, you might be running around, have no idea what to do. But the first person you want to talk to is Affin over here. Uh, if you talk to him, and he goes and he says, I'm Affin. That's not what he says, but... <laughs> You're basically gonna want to do all these quests for him. You don't have to do every single one of these, but there's a certain order to them. And if you go to main quest here, um, mine says forest exploration because I've already completed it. But you can do that um, as well. So you're gonna want to do Wop and Flopping, which is relatively easy. Go to him. Wop and Flopping. Basically all this one means is that it wants you to swap between different palettes. Boom. Swap between pallets, easy enough. Okay, next one is set of photon arts and set techniques. These two are also relatively easy, although set techniques is going to take a little bit longer if you're just starting up. Photon arts are things like skills for your gun, um, and set techniques are things like magic spells and stuff like that. For my class, I don't think I can do spells. I think I picked, I'm not sure what I picked now. Ranger, yeah, I can't do spells at the moment, so I won't be getting that one. It's not our requirement to get that one, though. You only really need to get is the Photon Arts and Absolute Unit. Uh, I actually don't know if Absolute Unit is required or not. Let me see. In order to get the Photon Art ones, it's, you just go to your second bar here, the buttons, and you're gonna want to click on one of these six slots over here and put something different. But for me, I just put a grenade round on. And that covers the mission. Now, if you were to have magic, um, like a resta or something, uh, I think he gives you one actually when you first start. So you could click on it just like you click on other things, and you push right trigger, and it would be down here. But since I don't have any magic spells, uh, it's not gonna work for me. Let me try talking to him and see if he gives me something. He might give me a resta or something. Nope, I don't think he did. I think it's because I've already created a character. I think he only gives it to you for your first character. That's sure why. But, now that you've talked to him and you've gotten those ones out of the way, and you can't do this one, um, you're gonna want to pick up Choose Your Skills Wisely, which is this one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel these ones, but I don't think I'm gonna get them done. Do you kill Skills Wisely. Basically for that one, you're going to want to go up to the last customer consultant and that will basically let you go through your changing classes and this is where you can get the other classes. The ones that you can't pick initially, like you got four attacker here and also gunner and fighter. Those ones are not accessible until you go to this guy, so if you were to go to him, you could pick those ones. For Gunner, a uh, brief explanation of that one would be basically close range guns, uh, slow motion action, which is pretty nice if you like that kind of stuff. I'd definitely test it out if that sounds like your kind of deal. Um, Decker is magic but support, so it's kind of like uh, buffs, um, healing, that kind of deal. So if you want it to be 
a lot of people do force decker together because they're both magic so if you want to use that as a subclass later on that's also good um, and then there's fighter uh, fighter is a bit um, more and it's more in depth I guess than some of the other classes it's got like um, I guess it's not as uh, beginner friendly because there are skills in there <laughs> that basically will uh, ruin your health bar and it will make you more it will make you stronger for it. Uh, so that's probably one of the reasons why it's not out there on the front uh, for people to grab immediately. But it is a pretty interesting to go through. A lot of people do hunter fighter or fighter hunter uh, because it's a good combo, uh, and it's definitely interesting. You can use different tools, like you can use knuckles, you can use twin twin blades, and then um, just one more. Either way, it's 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 a, it's more of a close combat, uh, punch you in the face kind of deal for fighter. And they do, <laughs> like I said, with the health thing, they do they do hurt a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna learn class skill real quick because that's what the requirement asked me to do. So I'll just go to learn class skill, click on this ranger, which is what I have. Add up one. I'm gonna do three because that's what's gonna be required to get to the next three anyway. Get that mission out of the way. <laughs> I apologize ahead of time if this is a lot of running around, but that's kind of like what you got to do at the beginning uh, to get all the the, um, the starter stuff done. Um, because in order to get further progress in the main story, which is the main mission right here, you have to do this stuff. Um, also, after you talk to Coffee. You'll want to grab all of these ones. I uh, don't think you need to practice quest certification immediately, but it's also nice to get uh, because then you can actually test out stuff. I'll show you where that's at in a second. Listen to Coffee's explanation for Mag Lesson Trial. This will basically just give you the mag. Um, you can listen to it basically. What she's going to tell you is you got a mag, you can feed it stuff, and it will grow. Um, I'll go over briefly about what to do with a mag and how to feed it and such, but I'm not going to go into in-depth detail on that, maybe in a different video I can go over that. Um, difficulty level trial, uh, basically at least she tells you about stronger enemies that permits you to do face stronger enemies or something. And then weapon palette extension trial, which basically tells you about the sub palette I think. Mm, which I'll also show you real quick. Okay, so the sub talent, um, you can actually, if you push up, you can switch between this stuff, but if you push right while in this menu, you can also switch between your sub palettes. If you haven't set your sub palettes up yet, you can get to the second one, the sub palette, and then you can go ahead and add all the different things you've ever wanted. Uh, <laughs> mainly, right here you're going to want your, obviously you're going to want to have your moon atomizers. I usually move them to this side, because, um, I don't know, I like everything on the left side, for some reason. You can also add skills here if you really want to, like for me I have my gunner skills here, I can put them here if I want to, um, I don't really want to do that, but I can, I have that option, I usually like, keep this bar for support buffs, um, if your class has some kind of stance or anything like that, I put it on here, and then you can use different sub palettes for different classes, that's why there's six of them, which is nice, or you can have one just for all characters, it's up to you. So that's the sub palette. Oh, what else was she going through? Um, mag license. Okay, so for the mag, you push start and you go down to mags. This is the second one. No, the third one. And then you got your mag there. And this is basically going to be the dude that follows you around. Okay, I'll go ahead and equip it real quick. And you can level it up via feeding it things. Um, you can pretty much feed it everything. Like, pretty much everything. Like, it eats everything, so. But depending on what you give it, depends on what stats will bring it up. Um, so I would definitely look into, depending on what build you're going for, and what you want to do, um, I would guess look up that kind of mag build and what exactly you need to do to get that kind of stat on there. For this one, we're just going to feed him, uh, because Echo wants us to feed him something for her mission, so we'll go ahead and do that for that. Feed item, I'm just gonna give him a mono mic. There we go. 
Ah, give me a little bit melee, a little bit melee defense. I can take that off later, I guess. If you were going to be particular, um, you might feed him a certain item at this point, but it's not that far and it gone to the point where you can just take that off if you need to later on. Um, you can get level downs to fix things that you don't like. Let's say you were building for decks and you had a little bit of melee in there or something. You can actually take that off. Eventually, it's a bit difficult depending on how much you have on there, but it shouldn't make a big difference right now if you take it off. As you haven't leveled it too much. Okay, so we talked to Echo and got that out of the way. The next person you're going to want to talk to, here, let me uh, actually clear through here. Not that. So, in my main missions here, it's going to have you go to, it's going to say forest and then speak to Athen. I'm pretty sure you've already done forest at this point. I don't know if it counted or not, but if you have that mission up, uh, you're going to want to go to this lady here, Rebecca, and go to main quest. Expeditions and then complete the forest quest right here. Um, eventually, you want to go and you want to complete all of the expeditions um, from top to bottom and get those all cleared out of the way. Um, don't know the or what exactly the order is for um, for the main missions requirement for them, but if I go through these, it will kind of show me. So go to Forest with the first one, so if you get that out of the way. You can speak to Athen, which we've already done. Um, I see the weapon swapping, you got that out of the way. So basically, as you can see here, um, they are all the quests that we've just completed on the main ones. Actually, Absolute Unit is one, and so it's pla Practice Quest Certification. So if we do this one, it will actually lead us to being able to do this one. Okay. So for me, uh, since I've already done the practice quest, it's going to auto let me pick it up. But in order for you to get it um, easily, all you have to do is pick up the quest first, and then go to here and go to practice quest, and then just pick something to do. It can be any of them. Um, I'd recommend whatever class you're doing right now, you can go ahead and pick that training. So basically, if you're doing ranger, Go ahead and pick Ranger and it'll kind of show you how to play it a little bit. Uh, maybe some of the moves in there. If you're interested in maybe trying out some other ones, go ahead and do all of them if you really feel like trying out all classes. It's not, there's nothing to lose here. It's just like you get to try everything out and see if you want. Maybe you don't like this class and you want to find out something. Maybe you like this one more after you try it or something. It's always good to do. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and pick up the practice quest certification and it will give you a sub weapon barrier. And that is actually going to help you out with the other quest. So you got this one. And you can actually equip the sub weapon barrier under a performer. Do all three slots in order to get all three of the um, absolute unit things here. I think I actually didn't pick it up, so I'll pick it up again. So basically, the absolute unit is going to ask you to uh, equip something to your back, arm, and leg. Normally, on normal items, you cannot equip them to any slot like you can with this thing, but this sub weapon barrier can be equipped to any slot, which makes it easy for you to just go through all three. If you have armor pieces, you can go ahead and put them there, um, but if you don't, that's a quick, easy way to get that out of the way. Okay, go back to main missions. A lot of this is just going to be following, so following the main missions here um, at the start panel. If you push X, start, and then I don't know what it is for PC, but for me, if you push X here, it'll bring up the, the mission tab, which you can go to main missions and such. And my, it should tell you what button to push, right where it says my X at, if you're on different. Um, so you click on that, and then you go ahead and you can pick all these ones up. See, we already did the mag reading and training from Echo, so that one's out of the way. Talk to Fina. Uh, what was Fina at? I think that was... Yeah, Daily Officer Fina. So basically you're going to want to talk to her. For that one. Like in a cave. So you'll want to go through the exploration and get that done on normal. I'm not going to go through every single exploration because that would take too long for the video. But basically you're going to want to go through that. Uh, pick that up. And here. Difficult level training one, which is the one Cap Coffee gave you just a minute ago. Oh, what's this one? That's the story mode ones. Don't worry about these story mode ones. I have the pop up 
these ones are going to be ones you don't have and will ask you down the story. So that's going to give me that, going to have you do the Tundra, your ground shafts, uh, floating continent, ruin inspiration, uh, dragon altar. These ones you can actually do, wait to do until you do the Jan stuff first if you want to, but you're going to have to do all these eventually and you can accept them and do them before before any of the stuff you really want to do. Alright. So, next person you're going to want to talk to, um, if you wanted to take a break from expeditions, or if you want to do it before you do all your expeditions. Ah, oh, they changed the lobby. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So you're going to want to go over here, down to the, the lobby, and this may might be a little bit confusing at first. You're going to want to go down to Jan over here. You can actually marker him, like as you can see, the marker on him. If you click on the mission that you haven't completed yet, you can mark wherever you want to go. It'll make it a little bit easier to find the person you're trying to look for, uh, if they're like hiding somewhere. For him, you're going to want to do all the enhancement ones and the all these different ones and just go through them and try to clear them out. Um, don't know if they're mandatory for the, the main mission, but you definitely want to speak to Jan at least and try to get into the ones. Yeah, they're part of the main story. So you want to enhance um, and then do the auxiliary course and such like that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to enhance. Yeah, this this method is not gonna be advanced. It's not gonna show you um, how the intricacies of enhancing or augmenting crap, but it will show you a basic guide on how to start. So basically, what you do to enhance is you take one weapon and you collide with another. I don't have any spare weapons, so I'm just gonna buy one from over here. I'm gonna buy three of them actually. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the extra two in a second. So let's take my enhancement and let's say I really like my rifle or my launcher. Click on that and I'll sacrifice one of these to my launcher and that's gonna basically level it up. Uh, never mind, I did not level it up. <laughs> I didn't have enough grinder which is also required to grinding. So if you don't have grinder, um, just run one of those expeditions and you'll pick it up just like the other things. And if you, for me, I'm just going to pick it up out of storage, but if you've run an expedition or two by now, you should have enough grinder to do this part. Now let me just go... Oh, it's going to take a bit. Oh, down. Oh, they're all my crap. I need to uh, sort through my inventory. That's all I need to do. Okay. There we go. Okay, I got 40 grinder. Shouldn't need that much. You sh I think you only need like, I don't know, like 10 or something. Yeah, we'll find out. Okay, enhance. Go to here. Oh no, I don't want to do a double saber. Rifle. Enhance it. And now it's level 3. Yep. And basically by leveling it, I increase the power, the overall power on it. And sometimes if I can get it to 10, 20, or 30, I give it an uh, enhancement ability. Or, um,. I think well, there's an actual name for it, but I call it the enhancement ability because it's enhancing it and you get an ability. <laughs> I think there's an actual term for it though. Um, so that's always nice. Every 10 levels you get uh, uh, upgrades that ability, whatever it may be. So you got this side of him. Enhance it here. The next one's a bit tricky. Um, enhance the elements for here. For that one in particular, you actually have to enhance with the same element um, in order to increase the element of a certain weapon. And that's why I bought those two tool sabers. So they're both the same weapon, both same rarity, and they both win. Um, so that is also important. Uh, they don't have to be the same exact weapon, but they have to be the same type and rarity in order for this to work. So you combine the two, and as you can see it says plus 28 there, and boom. I've enhanced the element of it. So if you eventually get into enhancement and crap like that, you want to increase the element, increase the damage of that element by doing so, you can go ahead and do that, and that will help quite a bit. Talk to him, get that one, and the last one we're going to have to do is the augmenting. Augmenting is a bit more tricky, and it's got a lot more to it. I'm not going to go, like I said, I'm not going to go over everything, but 
you can kind of get a general idea of how it's done. So I'm going to basically take I'll fix augment. On the right side, at the bottom right here, it will say you can actually push left trigger. I'm not sure exactly sure what button it is for PC, but you can kind of scroll over to this side. I think you just click on it on PC actually. Um, that sounds just a wild. All right. Um, so you can go over to this left side, and you can kind of see this third tab will show you the modifier on here. If you like the modifier or the augment, actually, that's what it's called. You can go ahead and you can try to transfer it to a different weapon. So let's say I want my gunblade to have might on it, because I like might. So I'll go here, click on my double saber, and you can see the two augments here. Um, the only reason I was able to do this was because they both have one augment on them. So let's say I had two augments on my gunblade and this one had one augment. I couldn't use it anymore because it's below what I'm trying to currently augment. So it has to have the same amount of augments or, or, or more is what I'm getting at. So uh, then the thing you're trying to augment into. So let's say my gunblade had two. I could use something two and above but I couldn't use something one to augment it. If that makes any sense. It's a bit tricky, but it's not terribly hard. Let's see. So I got these two here. So I could go ahead and pick both of them, since there's two different augments. Um, and I can bring up my augment slots to two. So basically, instead of having just one on each, I'd have two on each. And because I'm doing... Uh, see how they're 100%? Because I'm doing two items, it's actually bringing the... the uh, the percentage down because I'm adding another slot. And that happens no matter what you're doing. So it's recommended to get your slots first and then worry about the augments you like after. Because you might fail and you might get lose those augments you actually like. Okay, I got both of them on there, luckily enough. So now my gunblade has two augments and if I wanted to go wild and get something with three, I'd have to go find one that has three of them on there. And then I could do the same thing over on that. Okay, so that should get you the augmenting. But for augmenting, you just gotta remember that if you're adding slots, it's gonna bring your chances of getting those augments you want on there. So just keep that in mind when augmenting. Okay, now I got that out of the way. I can check my pushing select and set start. Uh, go through here, and now you got enhanced. Your favorite gear done, enhance boost the element done, and augment your favorite gear done. Mm, ask about items in the weapon lab. Okay, in order to do that, it'll, you'll always just go over here. It looks like I've already asked in my previous character, so it's kind of switching over. Ask about weapons right here, and once they go through an explanation, you'll be able to get that one as well. Okay, and then after that, I believe all you have to do is go through all these different... All these different post explorations and all that fun stuff. And then once you hit level 20, you're going to actually talk to Coffee again. Right now they don't have a quest. I'm just going to accept all these ones since I've um, gone through all the explorations. As you can see, just by doing these explorations, it's giving you tons of experience, and you, so if you don't level up by doing the explorations, you will level up by simply getting those freaking things. Um, I'm one level away from it, so you might be the same. Uh, if you've done those with explorations, though, in order to get here, you should have had that much experience that I'm missing right now in order to hit the 20 mark. I'm just going to accept these other ones that I have that you might not have in order to get push myself over the edge. But like I said, if you've done them, you should probably have that little bit left um, in order to get to 20. If not, you can run a few more missions and that should cover everything. Alright, now that we're level 20, we actually get Coffee's Quest unlocked now. New ones anyway. So we get the sub palette extension, which is telling you about the sub palette, I believe. The subclass permit which allows you to get a subclass which is very important the auxiliary course which allows you to get your first auxiliary 
so sub palette you just have to listen to our talk about the sub palette which you i kind of explained a little bit ago the forest and sub platform it so the subclass from it has you go to volcanic caves and forests and kill two enemies. Um, well, one enemy for each area. Garanga, which looks like the armadillo rolling dude. You've seen that one before. Uh, he, I mean, I would say he's more like um, a roly-poly kind of deal. Uh, the Fodron looks like a dragon, uh, but he's got two spikes on his shoulders, or one on each shoulder, or something like that. He's like the bigger version, so that's what they look like. I'm gonna go find them in a bit, but first I'm gonna do the auxiliary crap. In order to get your auxiliary started, you have to talk to uh, Starte over here. And they will uh, tell you about a tutorial, you can read all this. But it's basically the same process as creating a character when you go to create your auxiliary. After you talk to her, you gotta turn in coffee, because now you've taken a tutorial for it. And after this point, you can actually create your first auxiliary, which is kind of cool. And there, you got the complete auxiliary course quest out of the way. You go down to the salon, which is over here. If you get lost, you can go up um, up the side stairs here and get up to the salon area. Command auxiliaries and create a new auxiliary. But once you've done that quest, this will actually become uh, available. It's not here on its own until you've done it. So you can go ahead and here create an auxiliary. I'm just gonna do uh, I'll do cast uh, bouncer. I'm just gonna pick a bunch of random stuff for it. Randomize all. See what I get. That's not too terrible. Name it something cool. And it's gonna have me bring that up again. Put the next out of that. My name it. Um. Very creative. Don't know what that, that means, but it's their name now. Okay, once you created it, it will bring you back outside of the salon, and then you can go ahead and visit your auxiliary in your personal quarters and get some awesome stuff started. <laughs> I look like a magical starfish. You can't tell me that this outfit doesn't make me look like a starfish. Alright, um, okay, so basically you push select, um, PC, I'm not exactly sure what the button is, but you can bring up the side menu here. Go to personal quarters. And then basically your auxiliary will be waiting for you in your personal quarters. So if you haven't visited your personal quarters yet, which you might not have yet at this point, um, it'll be a place where you can put a few items in. Um, mine's gonna be a bit bigger than the average one just because I have uh, the 3 day pass or the um, actually premium so I, can, I don't have to worry about the thing but if you want a house and you want to put items in it you don't actually need premium you can buy the 3 day pass for your house um, via X cubes for only one X cube and you can just keep doing that if and you get X cubes quite often at least one a day <laughs> Uh, normally, you can trade Dio's to get them. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. But it's not difficult to do to get your house here. There's some limitations to items and such, but... So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna have... Uh, I'll do it since you won't have it. You'll have auxiliary console here. And you're gonna want to go, go to your personal terminal. If you're gonna place down your auxiliary terminal, I'm gonna place mine right here. And then you can select your auxiliary, and that will basically summon them. Mm -hmm. Go to my main missions real quick. Complete auxiliary course done. Create an auxiliary done. And sometimes place an auxiliary won't be done, even though you've already placed it. In order to fix this problem, you have to dismiss temporarily, and then resummon them. And that will get the mission done. Okay? And that will actually get you some potion spheres, which isn't bad. Then it's going to ask you to send your auxiliary on a search, which is another mission that you can do. Uh, in order to do that, you're going to want to talk to them. Go so send on search, and as you can see, you might not have any missions, because the only missions that the auxiliary can actually pick up are collect missions. 
So you can pick up select missions from Daily Officer or from Franca at the cafe. We haven't visited her yet, but you can actually get select missions from her as well. Alright, now that I've gotten back to the lobby, I'm gonna go over to the easiest way I found if you don't want to go to Franca's cafe is just going to Daily Officer, going to a collect mission, and uh, we'll say click from the left, grabbing one of these, and then going back to personal quarters. Exuries mm -hmm. are really nice. Um, you don't often take them on missions with you because the level difference does happen eventually. Eventually you're going to be at a much higher level than your auxiliary. And then you're not going to want to take them on missions with you, which you can do, uh, until they've leveled up more. So I can send them on a search. Normally they're here for getting items or collect missions for you, so you can turn them in later. And, um, and you can take them on missions and such, but you can't level them up any other way besides doing collect missions with them, which is kind of dumb. I wish you could level them up via bringing them with you, because that would be awesome. But you can't do that. And that's my main, this is my main auxiliary over here. So, that's what they're chilling out. So you send them on a, you send them on a mission. Mm, you get send on auxiliary search, and you get more sorts of spirits, which is nice. And there we go. And that's all the really, um, if I go back to the gate area and check out my missions, I think that's all the really main beginner quests that you need to do in order to get uh, progress to this point. Like getting the auxiliary, uh, getting the subclass class quest, which is very important. Those are the two main key points you want to hit before. Um, but you can't get them. Some of them aren't going to be accessible unless you do the Hans missions, you do the offense missions. Although, there might be a way to rush the auxiliary course and sub palette if you... Well, I wouldn't say rush. Um, if you do happen to get 20, before you do any of this stuff, you'll still have to do it eventually, but you could in theory get the other missions, I believe, if you hit it. This is a faster way of getting it. I believe you'll start to do the expeditions, which are a bit lengthy, but it's definitely worth being able to see all the different areas and going through all that fun stuff. Okay, if I go over to... Let me check to make sure that all my main, important main missions out of the way. Okay, these ones, you can go and get these ones done at your leisure, really. You can speak to Chip, which is also in the casino. He's in that front area. He'll exchange your stuff. Transcast Cafe. I could go over that real quick, because that's also a good one. Okay, let's do the sub palette, class palette first though. Okay, they're gonna tell you about your auxiliary although you've <laughs> already completed it. Okay, for the subclass permit, we'll do that and then we'll do the friend coast. Um, you, go, you have to find a Garango and a Frodran, and once you've killed both of those, you can actually equip a secondary class. And in order to find these guys, you're gonna have to go to the forest or volcanic caves. In order to get them, you have to go to the second area, in order to the second level, because that's where they actually spawn at. It's gonna spawn, um, I wouldn't say it's going to, but it should spawn. <laughs> uh, and if you can find it in some corners, sometimes an event will bring it up. Uh, I don't think you'll get it in this open area, but it's not impossible to find it anywhere. Uh, I haven't seen the Garongo yet, but I'm not gonna stop searching for it until I find it. Help! The Rita person uh, apparently is getting overwhelmed. To help them. You can find that one. Oh, the, look at that! It's a Garango! Right where we're needed. And it spawned on the event, which is nice. Sometimes that will happen, and you'll be able to get it right off that. Okay, so what I do after I find it, I don't complete the quest because I just want to go and get the Hodron. So I'll throw up a Telepipe, which you should have a couple of them. Grab that. Hopefully, the game audio is not like overbearing or anything now that I actually have it on. That would be bad. Okay, so I go over here to this OS counter. Ah, uh, there's an urgent going on actually. Ah, uh, how much time do I have? 
Uh, yeah, I got better time. So I'll go to main quest. I'll go to Volcanic Caves, and I'll finish it off. I'll search multi block, why not? And the foe drawn is gonna be in here somewhere. We gotta kill everything here. Oh, is that one over there? Is that one? No, that's just a small version. Okay, so these ones here look a lot like the ones we're looking for, but they're like mini versions. They only have children in the middle of them, not on their sides. So we're gonna try to look for. Nope, wrong move. We're gonna. <laughs> Lava's not so good. Try not to be there. That's uh, false spawn. I know these are the ones I'm looking for. Okay, those are gonna explode. Tons of enemies over here. Oh, they're all munchkins. Kill the munchkins! Alright, the munchkins are all dead. So we can continue. No, no fire. Ah, they're really trying to hit me with that fire. Okay, here it is right here. The one with the horns uh, on the shoulders, it's bigger. And we got the crazy avoid, I think. Destroy the f Ah! Alright, okay, the, I don't want to really deal with that thing. We just killed the thing we needed, so all we have to do now is go start. Uh, open up the party menu and a band quest. <laughs> no, not remove the band quest. There you go. I removed some from the party, but it was a calm, so it's okay. Okay, now that you got both of those missions, it will, um, if you go in a band quest, it will teleport to you to whatever area you were in when you started the quest, uh, which you can start the quest from multiple areas. Um, in our case, it's the gate area. You go over to coffee again, finish that quest that we just finished, clip quest, permanent, and now we can do two classes, which is nice. For me, since I'm doing ranger right now, I might want to go ranger gunner, which is a good combo. Go over here, change class, and now you have the second tab called sub class. Let's pick ranger. Um, you can pick whatever you like for it, you can pick like, uh, I wouldn't do summoner, uh, you can if you like, but you have to use a harmonizer to use the summoner moves, whereas for Gunner, you can pick up weapons that are multi-class, and you can use Gunner moves still. Whereas I don't think the summoner has uh, a multi-class weapon, which means basically there's weapons called like Sigmas, and there's a couple other ones that are 10 stars uh, as well that you can use. Uh, that will allow you to use a gunner weapon while ranger. So basically the way that the move, the weapons work, and if I go and equip weapons here, and let's say I had a twin, uh, a twin machine gun, I could not equip it here. It wouldn't even show up because, well, I might, I don't know, but you couldn't use any of the moves for it basically. I don't think it would even show up as well. Uh, and the reason that's happening is because it's not your main class. And the only way to actually use those moves whilst it being your subclass is to get particular weapons um, that don't say stuff like here. The item is equipable as a gun blade, which is good. Let's see if I can find one. I'll just pick one out of my inventory real quick to give you an example. I have a lot of things to go through, but I got this Sigma. Uh, uh, see if I can find a twin machine gun. I have way too much things on me, so I apologize. Retrieve that, and then I'll get a regular... No, oh, I'll worry about that some other time. Okay, so basically, if you see this Sigma... I can't use it? Oh, it's out of my stats range, that's why. But basically, a Sigma weapon, or in a couple other ones, when you go to clip weapons, it'll actually show up here, and you can actually equip it to your bar. Um, and that's one of the ways you can use your subclass weapon moves while not using it as a main. Normally, most weapons that you're going to find will not allow you to use that. It will not allow you to to put it on unless it's your main class or use the moves for it. But there are a couple of choice weapons that do what you do that. So I would look into those um, if you're going to try it out want to try out your subclass as well while running it. A lot of times subclass will just be 
supporting, and you'll want to run the main class weapons. Uh, sometimes you can do both, but that's all all up to what you want to do. Let's have a check my main class quest real quick. Just got that out of the way. Everything else, um, you reach level 30. Um, you can do the uh, grinding, um, doing missions, and all this fun stuff. And I can go over more in detail about how to level and um, go through an advanced guide later on. But this is kind of covering all of the stuff that you need to do when you start up. You get your subclass, you get your mag, you get your auxiliary, all of that fun stuff. And also to progress the main quest right here, main missions. Um, so if you, if you do that, that's always good. So I'm going to look at these daily missions. You can clear these pretty easily just by uh, doing the things here. They're pretty easy. You just follow the prompts. Uh, these ones you can do just by completing some of the dailies normally. Your missions are going to be for the tiers, and if you want to get to the tiers, you can push X twice to get the mission pass, and you can get that way. But um, that's pretty much it for this, this screen here. If there's any questions or anything I didn't go over, let me know in the comments below. If there's anything that you want me to go over in a different guide, um, I can definitely do that. And it will be interesting to see what kind of information, if you got any information for beginners or helpful tips, leave them down in the comments below for other people. Um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and thank you for watching. I really appreciate um, everyone that's subscribed to my channel and everyone that's keep following me for my different guides. Thank you.